We just had a great game. This is uh, Rob McGar, and uh, he's from uh, Scratch Golfer. Scratch Golf, yeah. Scratch Golf. So um, his challenge has been over the last um, however long. It's been to get down to scratch, and you started off 10, didn't you? Yeah, I was sort of 10, 11, floating around there, um, and we're at 5.2 now, so. 5.2, it's halfway there. Technically, it's halfway there. I yeah. think we've got the much more difficult half to come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a tricky bit. Mathematically, yeah, we're halfway there. Who's this one, Stu? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I can see it hitting me actually, is what I just said. <laughs> oh my god. No pressure or anything. Well, the pressure is hitting myself in the face, that's the pressure. Oh wow. That is very well done. Yeah, good effort. He's out. <laughs> to ask Rob and this is very important and I do ask everybody we play with what snacks are you carrying in your bag oh I've already been through one ah Stu so did you not did you not tell him the prerequisite for, for playing with you did you not <laughs> no, pre-warn him mention that, no. a 10 pack of topics or we don't play oh. and about what, the gym. What? hang on <laughs> hang on <laughs> hang on a minute Oh, that looks very I'm happy actually, to me, I'm like actually that. quite impressed. What's this little? So, yeah, okay, go on. That's a naked bakewell tart. But, ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can recommend that. I, I'm tempted by that um, one. Yeah. This is about 600 calories of goodness. Oh, it's not sounding so good at the moment. Um, and yeah. And this. So it's fair food then. Yeah. <laughs> and what's that one there? This nuts. Crunchy peanut, crunchy butter. peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? Oh, I do. Crunchy peanut butter. Stop it. <laughs> Mate, my snack game is probably the strongest part of my golf. I, I was just going to say, I actually rate that. That's one of the highest snack ratings I give of late. But you've kind of got down on yourself before now in your series. Um, you've got to watch it because it's um, it's a great channel. There's lots of different um, stats, knowledge, and, and lots of different things that uh, Rob's been going through. You know, what's what's it been like over that process? Have you been trying to en enjoy it as well, or is it just focus? Um, yeah. So at the moment, the biggest thing for me is trying to enjoy it because. So last year I practiced more than I've had done before and took golf more seriously than I've had done before, sure. um, which had its kind of good and bad parts. So mm -hmm. I definitely got better, but towards the end of last year, I started to enjoy golf less than ever before, um, just because I was sort of taking it too seriously. And your performance dropped as well? Too hard. Yeah, I mean, well, I think just my expectations went up so much that nobody plays fantastically every single time they go out. Yeah, the best totally. players in the world have good and bad rounds. Sure but my psyche was in a state where if I had a bad round like anybody can, mm. it was hurting me too much. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a wound and you almost can't get rid of that wound. Yeah, in golf you've got to be able to ride through the bad rounds because you know it's a sport where if you win 20% of the time, you're the best player in the world. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got to be able to handle defeat more than in anything else. Um, absolutely. And I was just at that stage where every bad round was like another kick in the teeth. Yeah. Um, and it was also at the stage where almost like a good round wasn't enough to like bring me up again. Sure, sure. Um, so this year I'm still going to practice and sort of work hard at it, but only as much as I actually want to. Um, and rather than sort of forcing myself to practice. And you might find if you hit some form, you actually will enjoy practicing more. And you might by yeah. default practice a well, bit more as well. Yeah, I've always really enjoyed practicing. It was only last year when I said to myself, come on, like I'm trying to get to scratch and I'm yeah. only off like 5.5 or whatever. Like I've sure. got to put more time in and I'd be sort of forcing myself to practice you know more than I actually wanted whereas now you know if I feel like practicing for two hours then I'll go and do it if I feel like staying up there for another four hours and I've got the time then yeah I'll do that but um, yeah I've just got to remember that the whole reason we play golf is for fun you know enjoyment yeah um, for, for like a happy state Stu 
Stu looking for his ball. It's it's not looking good. Cue the sad music, Stu. <laughs> Um, but also the fact he's a brave man to try and document your good and your bad. I mean, it's quite nice to document your good. Today I've lost to him, so I'm documenting that as well, but... Lovely day. In the rest of your life, are you motivated by achieving goals? Or has this been one of your first things? Or is that just the way you are? Um, see, I think... It's all about kind of internal success, so I'm less interested in going out and winning a club competition, particularly if it's off a handicap, you know. Sure, yeah. Um, I just see scratch, whilst you know there's people off plus four, plus five, and pros, whatever, you know, there's a lot of scores and handicaps beyond scratch. I just see that as a kind of benchmark of, you know, that's something that only one or two percent of golfers can ever achieve. Sure. I feel like it is achievable for me, you know, yeah. like from physically able I can yeah. sort of it's possible um, you know if my goal was to become number one in the world then we'd have to <laughs> yeah. have another conversation but yeah. you know what I mean I feel like there's no reason I can't get to scratch um, all I need to do is get the best out of myself and part of that is the, the yeah. mental side of it um, yeah it's a big key I mean there's no there's no coincidence that nearly every you know great sports person these days have got a mental coach behind them trying to help them along yeah I think it's the same with us we overlook it so much and and don't realise that what it is that we do enjoy about playing the game. You know, you know the the reactions we get from hitting good shots and uh, the fun we have with our mates, and yeah. you know, even even a good session on the pattern session or a change in your swing, it's, it can be really enjoyable, can not it? It's yeah, I think golf teaches you things about yourself and about life as well. That you know, part of it is handling the ups and the downs, and yeah, you know, realising that you might be working at something really really hard, yeah. but you're not going to necessarily get an instant no. reward from it. And, and um, to be honest with you, you don't want it. In instant reward because no. it's it's so transient you get it and then it's gone you think yeah. oh I didn't really earn, earn that you know yeah but that's you, the thing you feel like one minute you've got golf solved and it all feels so simple yeah and then the very next day it comes and bites you again kicks you straight in there. yeah as long as you're enjoying it and you keep coming back to it then you're winning really aren't you so. well we've had a great day at the players club so thanks to those guys um, for letting us film and uh, play we I'll do a few clips of, but mainly if you go across to Rob's channel you'll see the whole round uh, it's good and it's bad <laughs> for uh, for what it's worth. So hopefully enjoyed that. And thanks very much, Rob, for yeah, thank you joining for your us. Time. Cheers, Cheers,